Hello. Remember me? Remember when I asked you to explain this? It was not to be funny. It was to see if you would. I waited a whole week so I could grieve a few days. My brother died. I thought I'd grieve a while. I was actually about to deactivate this account. But it's too much going on. It's like the spirit of my ancestors, my mother, my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my uncle, and yes, my unborn child that I miscarried and my brother is telling me, not quite yet. You have some unfinished business before you do. There's an election this year. My unborn child is telling me, Mama, uh-uh, do it for me. There is a woman that almost went to prison for a miscarriage. That could have been you. But here you are talking about Durango side and man camps. Now, I'm going to give you a little clue on man camps, if you will. See, in those man camps... They would take women and children. Actually, they would well. They would take they would take boys too. But it was mostly indigenous women and girls. They would take them to those man camps. They would kidnap them and take them to those man camps because that's what y'all do y'all steal unalive and destroy that's what the white men do that's what they always done for civilizations on each and every damn continent name one continent they have not done that on don't worry i'll wait in the meantime while you're sitting there trying to figure out what continent they have not done that on, even on in Antarctica, where they're drilling and tearing up that continent. They would take these women and children to these men camps or man camps. And these men would do whatever they want to to these women and children. And when I say whatever they want to, they will S.A. them. They will grape them. Assault them. They will even unalive them in ways unimaginable. Unimaginable. Some of these women and children were even tarred, feathered, and burned alive just like us so were they and the audacity of you to write big data says hashtag mmiw burned those canadian churches well they need to be burned if they got kids buried up under them i'll burn them too any church or school that has the audacity to take these families' children away from them won't let them see them. And if one of them, if one of them, ha it happens to ha just pass away, they don't tell the family. They just stick them up under the church, stick them up under the school. Leave them there and just go about their day. Is so, And you're mad? You're lucky they're not burning down that entire, entire country. Indigenous people... 
and descendants of slaves are forgiving people. Very forgiving. It takes a lot. And y'all don't even want to say you're sorry. 